Is this a business opportunity or is it someone's personal transport? Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hello, and welcome to another tour by Hawaiian Shirt Papa. This one's of the Cabinet of Curiosities. It's at the corner of Barton and Ottawa Street North in Hamilton. Um, quite a surprising shop. I remember what the store that was here previously. It's a fair sized place. But the uh, contents are surprisingly different. Here's the uh, little cart that they had out on the street. Could be used a couple of different ways. The door, the entrance door area. They're very welcoming as you're entering. And they've got uh, interesting additions to not just being a physical presence, they have an online presence as well. And here we are rounding the corner to go inside. Uh, it uh, takes you back a little bit if you didn't know what you're going to be walking into. Uh, yeah, there are some vintage and antique items of more conventional manner contained within the store but then there's this other stuff I gotta love it I'm not saying it I, I disapprove uh, it's just that there are not a lot of these kind of stores around it's not your average corner run-of-the-mill kind of shop skulls animal skulls I'm sure they've been identified and you can you'll know exactly what they are if you're an aficionado of that stuff along with uh, smaller pieces so it's a bit of a surprise you come in and you see these things Quite the uh, different selection. These are more conventional. Faces and places of Victorian Hamilton. So they had the, a variety of hats here. Uh, they have glass cases with items. They have items that are out in the open fossil shark teeth there. <laughs> yes, that is a stuffed lion. Interesting boots, books. Some of the topics are a bit uh, different. Not, these are not things that you find in your average store. Uh, I'd kind of suggest not having young ones with you to go to this place unless you can keep them out of some parts of the store. 
of different beliefs can be followed with supplies from here. Some of these are metal uh, productions. Then we get the antique curved top chests. A coffin. Yep, that is a coffin. And there's another one. This is more than more than just the two. I don't think I got pictures of all of them. The death masks. Well, death doctors. They were actually just the doctor's masks, so he had enough air to breathe in there. But they've been associated with plagues. Because that's around the time when they were introduced. Yep, all kinds of different bits and pieces. Stone, bone, coprolite, which is petrified. Uh -huh. Complete skeletons, not just of humans, of some animals as well. I see some bats. It's a significant collection of a lot of things. It's one where, yes, you could go through quickly, but you wouldn't see more than maybe one or two percent. It's actually a situation where to really get in down and deep and examine everything would take a long time. So it might be easier to digest this in two or three visits and you can and join this with other shops on the street which uh, there are some videos for and videos still to come those are all chemists bottles of a bygone era so you've got a lot of things to look at. It's a medicine chest. Some diagrams, drawings. Looks like a stuffed monkey up there. Not sure if it's just uh, oh yes the lower portion of a skull made into a floor lamp some people may be totally disgusted by this some people are totally thrilled by it they had quite a few books and some of these books that they were They looked like they were very nicely kept. Uh, they had pieces from churches, they have pieces from other places. Some glass walking sticks. Yes, they will survive. Compression is not a problem with, not a big, huge problem with glass. Minerals and rocks, they have a pretty good selection. Stuffed animals, carved animals, jawbones, some other animals that are fully stuffed. And we saw a full lion earlier, that might be a lioness. Stuffed fish of all sorts with the labels. And then you get into something a little more common. Mainly a common, but it's easy, easy more, more often that type of material is found. Along with some of these, which look like they were brought in from other parts of the world. So, uh, yeah. Looks like a 
a leopard type of animal up top ready to pounce a selection of uh, masks look like they're from different parts of the world and then we get into some 20th century anti antiquity vintage stuff the good old uh, view masters there's some toys that you don't always see you do see them a little more now with the the um, the darker skin ones for dolls some vintage games like the tiddlywinks I dream of genie game so uh, yeah so a riding toy some oil lamps and some uh, wire insulators glass insulators for wires some some cl and furniture as you can see not exactly sure what this was really for this is like a steam cabinet and then there's this hand operated wheelchair but the hands didn't go down to the wheels they went up to some cranks the uh, they had some very classic uh, dental equipment there as well some nice old cameras bellows type some glassware china ceramics bottles of quite a, quite a selection of bottles to pick from bit of uh, clothing some wigs as well if you're really into it teapots toy car that's one to ride around in um, if you're wondering if this is in the exact order of walking through, uh, I guess it is, but it's you could walk through it in so many different ways. There's like three or four aisles that originate near the front door. Some more clothing, more like costumes for a, a play, but they might be ceremonial outfits for some place. So there's more than one way to enter the store. Depending on which aisle you take, you'll see different things first. There's only one or two cross aisles at the back. Not that it's that deep. And then there's a section at the front we've already seen with the um, these cards and uh, more modern books of uh, different topics birds and cloche bell jars if you wish here's the uh, oh yes they had coins too Besides metals, if there's anything you need to see, and they'll definitely help you out. Some very vintage items, antique clothing as well. Here's the portion that's right at the front window, past the, the uh, entry desk. So 
Well, they've got some boots. I'm not sure if they're at all vintage or not, but some very different items that are in the windows too. Some nice ostrich, well, feathers. I'm not sure if those were ostrich feathers. There's the uh, carriage. There's an old roll of film. Some coolers, snowshoes, artwork. So this, this, there's an old case of 24 bottles of beer, Oktoberfest, if I remember right. Uh, they also had uh, ephemera like magazines and such. Besides the books, they also have the stereograph, which we'll be seeing some stills in, or, in, or video in a bit. Oh yes, the Wily Weasel. I think that's what it is. Song of Hamilton, Old Boys. They had some of these, uh, the Grand Order of Ontario IOF. Some very detailed documentation that went with this. And then he had the string art flowers. Could be called floss. Um, you've got your instant relatives on the right hand side is photos and some books and some more old images of folks. There is just a lot to see, folks. There is just a lot to see. Those uh, those gray boxes, they're they are, if I remember right, they're the stereographs. Yes, stereo views. Um, they're grouped, interestingly which is nice. Some more old photos. Soft drink bottles. I don't think there's any beer bottle. There might be some beer bottles there. So yes, there were some young people, just keep them out of certain portions, and it might be useful to prep them for what they might see. Aisles are nice and wide, generally speaking. Ceremonial saber of some sort. Other ephemera there. Again, those uh, masks. I did circle around and catch some of these items more than once. Nice uh, a jukebox remote control. Or 
booth control if you wish. Those orange crush look like they were still filled from their original time. Don't think I'd want to try and taste them. panels there and we'll continue on some more here with uh, some more of the artwork oh there was flags and this is another one of those caskets banners magazines here's some stereo view this craft viewers stereo photo viewers these are an example of some of the stereo views and then you get into some of the other ephemera such as this uh, set of life insurance a wheelchair for someone in the distant past I don't know if these were costumes from some theatrical production or their uh, regional costumes for someone. And of course the toy car, which is a pedal car. You can jump in from the rear. A uh, young child's training toilet. And this is a couple of different things. One is a way of getting to know your foot. I remember them being used in some shoe stores at one time. These are dental products. These are eye, individual lens for trying out. They're often in, so installed in a machine at the optometrist's office nowadays. Oh, lots of other medical devices here. Circumcision clamp. Hmm. Right. Various bottles of chem for chemicals, medications as they would have called them. So uh, there's all kinds of stuff. There's a, another clear view of the two legs with the making it into a floor lamp. There's a, there's a mixer for that's usually used for making milkshakes, a stroller, uh, a studio chair. This is the wheelchair with the two operate two chain operated hand drives. A variety of pieces of art. You can get an instant distant family from all of this. So, see the books in full sets. If you want some old ones, you can get a whole set. I don't know if those are any of those are death masks. And uh, another view, you get some more of the artwork and books and such. I did travel through the same areas more than once. Sometimes I viewed one side, sometimes I viewed the other side. There's plenty to look at. It's all interesting.
great place at all. So a collection of various chairs there. Some other ephemera. <clears throat> a bust of someone. The, even the boxes are interesting. The uh, dynamite boxes. Or that might have been nitroglycerin. Some things uh, I kind of had to avoid for YouTube reasons. And that one almost looked like one of those personal saunas, but I suspect it was for something completely different. An old, would have been a, typically a, referred to as a doctor's case in brown. Could have been a lawyer's. Some other interesting objects there with that. Some uh, wigs and masks and other interesting objects. Uh, this almost looks like it could have been used for either a child or a dog. A nice old blue flash bulb. They were used usually for color, trying to simulate sunlight. The bellows cameras, they're an interesting solution for the lens that they were using at the time. Another small cart could have possibly been pulled by a dog or, or a pony, I'm not sure. Child's dog, dog cart. There you go, there's the answer. Yeah. Some of those look a little odd. This is a welder's mask. I'm not sure why they would have placed it on what it looks like a, a, a light, table light. Some of the other objects that were in that area. And we've got a short bit here. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. We'd appreciate it if you give us a like, a thumbs up, and maybe even give yourself a, a mark on the bell so you get notified of the next video. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye-bye.